Can you imagine a world where organized crime syndicates not only operate with impunity, but also weave themselves into the fabric of society? Welcome to the world of the Yakuza, Japan's notorious crime syndicate whose origins trace back to the early 1800s. In the bustling city of Edo, now known as Tokyo, amidst the merchants and tradesmen, a new kind of organization was taking root. The Yakuza, named after a losing hand in the traditional Japanese card game, Oicho Kabu, was born. The name, translating to 893, was a subtle nod to their status at the bottom of society, a status they wore with pride. These early Yakuza were gamblers and street vendors operating on the fringes of society. They were known for their strict code of conduct and unyielding loyalty to their group. Yet they were also feared for their violent tactics and involvement in illegal activities such as racketeering. However, the winds of change blew in the 1860s with the Meiji Restoration. The government, seeking to modernize Japan and eliminate elements of its feudal past, cracked down on the Yakuza. But like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the Yakuza managed to adapt, survive, and continue their activities, albeit covertly. Fast forward to today, the Yakuza have evolved from street vendors to sophisticated syndicates, their activities extending beyond Japan's borders. Their criminal portfolio has expanded to include extortion, loan sharking, and bribery. But they've also dipped their fingers into legitimate businesses, with interest in real estate and construction companies. The Yakuza's influence has permeated popular culture, inspiring countless books, films, and television shows. They've been romanticized and demonized in equal measure, creating an enduring mythos around the organization. In recent years, the Japanese government, no longer turning a blind eye, has intensified its efforts to dismantle the Yakuza. High-ranking members have been arrested and many of their operations have been shut down. Yet the Yakuza persists, a testament to their resilience and adaptability. To summarize, the Yakuza started as a band of gamblers and racketeers in Edo-era Japan, survived a government crackdown during the Meiji Restoration, and evolved into a powerful crime syndicate with global reach. Despite recent efforts to curb their activities, the Yakuza remains an influential force in Japanese organized crime. Their story serves as a stark reminder of the enduring power of organized crime and the challenges faced in eradicating it. Have you ever heard about the Yakuza? A name that conjures images of tattooed gangsters, strict codes of conduct, elaborate rituals and violent tactics. But where did they come from? How did they evolve? Today we delve into the history and evolution of this infamous Japanese crime syndicate. Cast your mind back to the early 1800s, to the bustling city streets of Edo-era Japan. This is where the Yakuza, an offshoot of the merchant class, first made their presence known. They wove themselves into the fabric of society, dealing in gambling, racketeering, and other illegal activities. Their name, interestingly, comes from the Japanese term for 893, a losing hand in the traditional card game, Oichokabu. It's a name that embodies their outsider status in society. But the winds of change began to blow in the 1860s. The Meiji Restoration was upon Japan, a period of rapid modernization and westernization. The government aimed to suppress these criminal activities, including those of the Yakuza. But like a phoenix from the ashes, the Yakuza managed to survive, adapting and continuing their illicit operations. Fast forward to today, and the Yakuza still plays a part in Japan's underbelly, albeit a more subtle one. Their exploits now encompass extortion, loan sharking, bribery and more, but it's not all illegitimate. They also have their fingers in some legal pies like real estate and construction companies. The Yakuza's reputation has spread far and wide, beyond the shores of Japan. They've become a subject of fascination in books, films and television shows, building a mythos around this enigmatic organization. This mystique, coupled with their notorious activities, has led to a larger-than-life image of the Yakuza. However, in recent years, the Japanese government has taken a firm stance against the Yakuza. Many leaders have found themselves behind bars and businesses linked to them shut down. Yet, despite these crackdowns, the Yakuza remains a formidable force in the world of Japanese organized crime. So, there you have it. The Yakuza, 
a group that started as an offshoot of the merchant class in Edo-era Japan, has evolved into an infamous organized crime syndicate. They've weathered numerous storms, from government crackdowns to societal changes, and have managed to survive, albeit with a reduced presence. Their history is a fascinating tale of resilience, adaptability, and survival in the face of adversity. The Yakuza story is a testament to the enduring power of organized crime, and its ability to adapt and survive, even in the modern world.